students, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna discuss to you all about the measures of dispersion. Na kung saan, tutuluan ko kayo kung paano manap ng range, standard deviation, at saka ng variance. So without the further ado, let's get started. So in measures of dispersion, we have the variation, we have the range, the standard deviation, the variance, and the what we call the coefficient of the variation. But in this video, we will discuss only on how to find the range, the standard deviation, and the variance. So, our uh, measures of dispersion, it gives only the information of how spread the viability or the dispersion of the data values. So, gano ba ka spread, kalawak yung data values doon sa isang uh, certain data. So, first we will discuss the range. So, what do you mean by range? So, how do we find the range? So, range is the simplest measure of the dispersion. So, it means to say na napakalilang mahanap yung range. So, range is the differences between the largest value subtract sa may pinakamababang value. Ano ibig sabihin yun? Is it subtract mo lang doon sa may pinakamataas na value, then minus sa may pinakamababang value, and that is the range. So, here we, we have an example, so 0 up to 14. So, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 14. So, find the range. So, anong range dito sa value na ito? So, we have pinakamataas na value, we have the 14, and then we have the smallest value, which is the 0. So, 14 minus 0 is equal to 14. Very good. So, that is the range. So, let's have another example. So, ignore the way in which data are distributed. So, we have the example, we have the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, find the range. So again, the range is the differences between the largest value subtract is for the smallest value. That is 12 minus 7 is equivalent to 5. Very good. Team then, so uh, let's say yung example that is 7 min, uh, 12 minus 7 that is equals to 5. So let's have another example. We have the sensitive appliers here. Ipakit siya naging sensitive kasi napakalaming yung number na nag -o So, so paano maanap ng reach? We just uh, basically, again, uh, subtract the largest value into the smallest value. So, the largest value here, which is the 5, and then subtract natin sa so 1, that is 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Very good. So, nuggets, chicken. Very good. So, another example for range, we have the 120 minus 1 is equivalent to 119. So, that's all for it for the range. Now, let's move on for the standard deviation. So first, what do you mean by standard deviation? So standard deviation is the commonly used in finding the uh, measures of dispersion. So ito yung pinaka-reliable tool in measuring the dispersion. So sa measures of sentence we have the most reliable tool that is the mean. So dito naman sa measures of dispersion, ang pinaka-most reliable tool is yung standard deviation. That's it. So this standard deviation it shows the variation of the mean. And also, standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. Ibig sabihin, yung square root ng variance, that is the standard deviation. Kapag yung square root ng standard deviation, that is the variance. And it has the same units as the original data. So, here is the formula in finding the standard deviation. So, we have the S equals to square root of summation of X minus mean squared all over sa N minus 1. So, ibig sabihin, may N minus 1, ibig sabihin, nakasample. Uh, standard deviation siya. Pag nakapopulation, walang minus 1. And then, kapag ito ay nakasample, mayroong n minus 1. But, here we will just discuss only the sample standard deviation. So, bako tayo mag-proceed sa example ng standard deviation, uh, i-discuss na natin mismo yung variance. Kasi yung variance is the, just the square of the standard deviation. So, variance muna tayo. So, then, yung variance is the average of square deviations of values from the mean. So, yun yung variance. Variance is equals to S squared equals to summation of X minus mean squared all over sa N minus 1. So, yung pinaka variance siya. So, anong nawala? Sa variance, ang may squared sa kanya is yung S and then ang sa standard deviation is wala siyang squared. Although, sa standard deviation mayroon siyang square root well, sa variance, wala naman siya square root. So, ganun lang siya. So, yung x na may salunguit sa itaas, that is what we call the arithmetic mean. And then, n, ito yung sample size. x sub 1, ito yung volume ng x. Now, here are the steps of the calculating of the standard deviation. So, number 1, we have calculated differences between each value 
and the mean. So, kapag nakuha mo na yung value, i-add mo yung lahat and then subtract mo siya sa mean. And then, square each differences. Ibig sabihin, sinubtract mo siya and then square mo siya each differences. And then, add the square differences, i-add mo siya. Then, divide this total by n minus 1 to get the sample of the variance. And then, take the square root of the sample variance to get the sample of the standard deviation. So, nag-guess nyo ba? Siyempre, hindi. So, we proceed tayo sa example. We have the data example here. We have the 10, 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 18, and 24. Na kung saan meron siyang mean is equals to 16. Tsaka ilan silang lahat? That is 8. And then, to find the standard deviation, we have the formula of the S equals to square root of summation X minus mean squared all over N minus 1. So, proceed tayo sa formula. So, we have the formula here. This uh, square root of 10 minus X are you mean squared sa plus sa 12 and so on so forth so mayroon tayong sagot na 4.3095 so sir paano nakuha yun so dito na example na ito ay sinorkat siya using the calculator so itutulok ko sa inyo kung paano mag uh, manual sagot so here is step by step to find the standard deviation so first isulot mo muna yung lahat ng values ng x so we have the 10, 12, 14, 15, 17, 18, 18, and 94 so, pakatapos nyan, i-add nyo lahat para makuha yung mean. Kukunin mo muna yung mean. That is, ilan yung lahat. And then, i-divide mo sa kung ilan sila. That is the mean. And then, we have the mean, 16. So, 16 na siya. And then, sa next column, we have the x minus mean. Ibig sabihin, yung bio ng x is subtract mo doon sa mean. So, we have the 10 minus 16 equals to negative 6. And then 12 minus 16 equals to negative 4. 14 minus 16 equals to negative 2. 15 minus 16 equals to negative 1. 17 minus 16 is equal to positive 1. 18 minus 16 equals to positive 2. And then 24 minus 16 is equals to 8. So, meron ka ng value ng x minus mean. So, yan yung value niya. Ang next natin is squared natin yung differences ng x tsaka doon sa mean. So, we have negative 6 times negative 6 that is uh, positive. Magiging positive siya. So, 36. And then, negative 4 times negative 4 nagiging positive 16. Negative 2 times negative 2 that is equivalent to positive 4. And then, negative 1 times negative 1 that's equivalent to 1. Then, 1 times 1 goes to 1. 2 times 2, 4 equals to 3. And then, 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So, the next next step natin, i-add natin lahat para magkakaroon tayo ng summation ng x minus mean squared. So that is 36 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 64 is equals to 130. Very good. So ano na next step natin? Proceed tayo doon sa formula ng standard deviation. So we have the x equals to square root of summation x minus mean squared all over sa n minus 1. Then substitute the given value to the given formula. So yung Summation x minus mean squared is magiging 130 yung summation kanina. You over mo siya sa n minus 1. So then n is yung 8. And then square the 130 all over n minus 1 magiging 130 all over 7 na lang siya. And then 130 divided by sa 7. So magiging 18.5714. So 4 decimal lang ang kukunin natin. So 18.5714. Since may square root siya, square root natin, that is 4.31. So therefore, ang standard deviation natin is 4.31. So katulad doon kanina, doon sa sunarkat natin, we have the 4.3095. So nilanop lang siya, naging 4.31 na siya. So paano naman sir kung variance? Paano kumuha ng variance? So, yung variance is ganito lang yun. Kukunin mo yung nakakulayra dyan. Yung squared of 18.5714. Kukunin mo yan. And then, proceed ka doon sa formula. So, we have the formula of variance. S squared is equals to summation of x minus mean squared all over n minus 1. So, yung manina, meron tayong nakapula, naka, naka red na font. So, kukunin mo yun. So, that is S squared is equals to Summation of 18, 5.71. So, anong gagawin mo dyan? Tatanggalin mo lang yung square root sign and then yun na mismo yung variance. Ano ulit? Tatanggalin mo lang yung square root sign at yun na mismo yung variance. So, feel free to comment below kung may mga questions kayo. So, that's all for it for now. Bye!